Hello everybody, Toe here and welcome back to another episode of Battle Brothers, where we are playing as our mercenary company, the Golden Men. In the last episode, um, we took a huge contract, over 7,000 gold, to go hunt down a Barbarian King. Um, and strangely enough, the Barbarian King, while it was a little bit of a, a, rough, a rough fight, uh, we almost lost, um... Oh, who was it? We almost lost a Fury over here. Um, he almost got killed because he got surrounded by a couple of guys, especially a big one with a hammer. Um, but we did manage to get through without losing anybody. And after that, in the course of looking for that king, I found a whole bunch of barbarian camps up here. And since there's the potential to get either a legendary item or like just simple furs and trade goods... Uh, I decided that we'd kind of rampage up here, destroy a number of these camps before heading south again. Because uh, I do need to get um, uh, Abdri, or Abdari. I need to get him uh, up to snuff with the, the latest kit. Uh, and as well, I'm kind of wanting to fight in some of the tournaments, maybe fight some of the enemies down in the south again. Because uh, as far as I know, it has been a while. So the main idea for now is at least to destroy some more of these camps. So with that said, uh, we'll head over here and then maybe rest for, for a little bit. Uh, we'll need to see what condition everybody's in. Because he's still got these busted fingers. Yeah. I don't really want to go into a fight without it. I don't, I don't really want to enter this fight yet. Because it's a whole bunch of uh, Reavers. So we're going to hang out. Um, let's see real quick. Did it heal yet? Yes, it did. Yeah, okay. I can, I can go into the fight now. All right, many barbarian reavers and a few warhounds. I'm not really worried about the warhounds. Uh, in fact, it's actually good because instead of fighting ten barbarian reavers, I'm fighting eight barbarian reavers. So as far as I'm concerned, that is a massive win for me. I'm also thinking. So when I go down south, I'm. I might just flush out my party, honestly, with slaves. If I can't find any more gladiators, I think I'll just fill it out with slaves. And for these these members, I'm thinking I'm actually going to do bladed weapons. Because I have so many warhammers in my party. But the issue with warhammers is that their specialty is actually... Um, it's... Uh, what's the word for it? You... Uh, bladed weapons are really good against unarmored opponents. Um, but... The, the problem is that, well, we don't, we're not fighting unarmored opponents. What, I should actually switch to the gun. This is a pretty good scenario for it. Um, and then next turn I'll be able to take advantage of the fact that I have a gun now. I forgot entirely about uh, the fact that I have a, uh, a boomstick. Which is a, a darn shame because it is very good at dealing with large uh, groupings of enemies. Okay, stun him? No. Nope. Not gonna happen. Kill the dog. Close. No cigar, though. Yeah, so let's see if we can keep them locked in this spot. If we can, that'd be great. Good, good. And then Tick can go ham and smash them. Start killing them. Stab. Uh, stab? Yeah. And then to top things off, get you in here, and yeah. Okay, nice. Alright, 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 alright. The gun might not actually be viable anymore, which is unfortunate. Um, I really goofed up on that. Okay, he's dead. Uh, get in the armor. Nope. I mean, I might be able to shoot, like, up here. Oh, I need to load it. Damn. I shouldn't have changed from the bow. Dead. Yeah, it's not like it really matters. It pr it, it honestly would have been, like, better suited if I had run into um, a large number of thralls. Because thralls are essentially unarmored, so... Okay. Okay. Now, you guys team up and get to work on him. Damn. Just can't hit those dogs. Ah. 
Yet they're down to essentially five effective fighting men. Well, I say that. Some of them aren't looking so hot. Uh, I'd probably get to hit like twice. But I like my odds on that. Yep, he's got a hand injury. so And he's got one stack of overwhelm, so I don't like his odds. Yeah, 5% chance. Yeah, Tick is a duelist. Tick can kill practically anybody, any normal-sized person in a 1v1 fight. Um, but monsters and stuff are outside the exception. So let's try out the boomstick. Got him. So let's uh, let's actually switch back, get our bow all re-equipped, and uh, hack at him. He's got a split hand. Uh, finish him. Nice. As for you, we can hopefully finish. There we go. But we can hopefully finish off this dog sometime this year. Gang up on him. Yeah, and he's down. Smack him. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can help. Attack can help. Um, he got stunned, but he didn't. He didn't take any damage. How does that work? Maybe it's just a skill, as in it doesn't really do anything else other than just have that skill. It's like, it doesn't really do any damage or anything else, but... Nice. Alright, stab, stab. And that is why 1v1s are Tick's forte. Unless, again, you're fighting a Wyvern. He is not going to be a... Well, you know, actually, with just the basic stab skill, he might. But it's it becomes a huge game of chance. Because his armor is essentially... It can protect him from one hit, but the armor is like weak weak as hell so he could in theory do it 1v1 a y uh what not wyvern um 1v1 a lindworm but again it becomes a huge game of chance and uh, that's the fight uh attack actually leveled up yep there's some furs and some more money Good, good. Uh, so that's that encampment. We're going to head over to Bergwall and sell some of this gear real quick. Going to keep the furs, of course. But yeah, um, like I said, uh, Tick could probably beat a Lindworm. One, or Tim could, in theory, beat a Lindworm in a 1v1 fight. But it's very hit or miss. Just because all it takes is one or two hits and Tick's dead. That's it. Uh, sort. Let's get rid of... Get rid of all these, uh, these items that I will never use. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll buy us... No, we don't need more food. Uh, let's... What else can we sell? I don't really want to put these mail patches on yet. In fact, I'm not even technically sure why I have them. Let's sell one of these harnesses. I don't really need it. Um, one of these. Yeah. And a lot of it's just food. Whatever. Ooh, check the the armor real quick. Uh, nope. Nope, nothing of interest. Alright, on to the next camp. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to head over here to look. Ooh, actually, that icy cave... That actually just might be the one that uh, I got the cleaver from now that I think about it. And then there's this one up here, but this is... I think the this is one of those ones where you actually start running into Chosen. And honestly, I think I'm okay with leaving that alone. At least until I get a larger... Like, you know, I flush out my party. Because this is some Barbarian Reasons and some Chosen. Um, but I can deal with that. Oop. Wait, hold on. What? Thralls. Oh my gosh. So because this barbarian war party left with 13, it got downgraded to in, in its garrison to a plethora of barbarian thralls and a few drummers. That is 
That is actually pretty funny. But yeah, I'm gonna go wipe them out. But first, let's get that upgrade. Now, it's not gonna make, I mean, that much of a difference, but it's a difference nonetheless. Okay. And if I kill them, I'm guessing, I, I'm fairly certain this garrison isn't going to increase. It's if they come back to it that that garrison's gonna increase. But yeah, big, big party. Um, for the most part, non-threat. They don't really have a good way to get through my armor, so... That's why I'm uh I'm not really worried about it. like honestly I can even deploy the hounds uh against them like from the near get go cuz the hounds will actually do really good against them since they're not wearing armor for the most part. The only real downside is I'm not going to be able to get any real good loot because they're a bunch of naked men. Like they can kill militias but Against actual, like, professional troops, they're going to perform fairly poorly. Yeah, that was one. Uh, let's wait on you. And unleash a dog. Yeah, look at that. Half of his health already. Uh, unleash a dog. And kill him. Working on him. And he's dead. Good job, battle brother. Unleash a dog. Dog's got really high uh, initiative, so I'm going to make use of that. And... Unleash a dog. Get him. Especially since these are, uh, these are war hounds. Like, these are northern war hounds. These guys are much better than... Well, in terms of, like, actual just prolonged engagements... Uh, Northern Warhounds are superior to Southern uh, Warhounds because Southern Warhounds are faster, but these guys are these guys, while being a little bit slower, have just more HP. Um, and so, just personally, they are superior. Just because, like, I mean, we got Battle Brother, but they they're still capable of chasing people down. Okay. Okay. They really want that. They really want a uh, fury. Stab. 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 Stab, stab, stab. Yes. Come one, come all. Because we've already brought their numbers down to below us. Yep. Yep. And now all the dogs go. Getting absolute. Honestly, the dogs would be doing even better if this wasn't snow, because it uh, it's lowering their movement speed, so they can't move and attack as effectively. Whack. Like, in all reality, this is just bullying. Um, this is only the second turn, and they're they've already lost what almost two thirds of their force just like that. I mean, they're almost wiped out. Like him. There goes his... What are those? Guts? No, fractured ribs. Ugh. Like, in theory, this could, like, turn against me. I'm, well, I honestly, no. It really can't. Like, I was going to give them credit. Like, something can always go wrong in Battle Brothers. But I think the worst that could honestly happen is, like, one of the hounds dies. But even now, they're, like... They're using stun to get away from the hounds. And it's not enough. Like, there are too many. Because I've got several hounds out now. Uh, as for you, can you hit him from here? You can, but I'm not going to risk hitting Battle Brother for that. Uh, these guys aren't really going to help. Because they are not close enough. You, however, can do something. Okay, well, he's almost dead. Oh, but I can do this. Alright, good. Run them down. Why not? We're here. Battle Brother gets them. Yep. Yeah. A lot of dogs. I could even get more. Like, I'm pretty sure there are a number of my guys who don't have dogs yet. So. 
We could get more hounds. Just give me somebody up there who can kill this guy. Uh, not you. Here we go. Just hit him. There we go. Loot. We got some money, some beads. I mean, the beads are pretty... The, the beads can be fairly valuable. All right. So, now, let's head over to the camp. What am I dealing with? Yep. So, the garrison did not change. Are we all good? Oop. Malte finished his, uh... His, uh, leveling. So, range, range defense, and... Health? Health. <sighs> all right, Malte. What am I going to give you? I could do fearsome. Uh, it's not worth it. Um, because his resolve is trash. Uh, I could do executioner. That wouldn't be an awful idea. Because executioner, all executioner does is it, um, it just, anybody that's injured is going to be taking more damage. Um, but this is his last perk, so I really got to make sure this counts. I'm not picking anything melee related because Malte is literally specialized. He's my only ranged character, and he's damn good at what he does. No, I could do nimble, but it's not really worthwhile either with me using mail. What is this labeled as? It's labeled as a firearm, but there's not really a perk for that, is there? Oh, wait, no, the, the crossbow is... The crossbow and... Oh, crossbow and firearms. Weird. Uh, I could also do nine lives, but... I mean, honestly, if he's in a situation where he's being, like, beat, like, beat down, that is... That is bad. I have royally messed up, and so I'm trying to keep him away from that. I think I've got the, the, where's the item? Yeah, it is right there. Bags and belts. Um, I'm really thinking maybe executioner. Um. Headhunter. I mean, that is a possibility, but. The issue with Headhunter is that uh, if they've got really thick head armor, I'm just going to be like hammering into their head armor, and I'm not really interested in that. So I think I'll just stick with uh, Executioner. Because my party's pretty damn good at uh, injuring people. Especially, even Malte is pretty good at it because he's got uh, crippling strikes. <laughs> so everybody's good, right? Uh, yep. Everybody's all nice and healthy. So let's... Uh, Let's kick some barbarian ass, shall we? So, a couple of drummers, that's not really bad, because they mostly just keep morale up, and then thralls, but... Everybody saw how the thralls did. Alright. So, we will wait. Wait for them to... move forward. Yeah, they're pulling out javelins. Yes, come forward. I'll 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 do some fighting before I deploy the hounds this time because while 1v1, a hound can do pretty damn good against a thrall. Uh two or three thralls is <laughs> uh pushing it to put it mildly. So, we're going to thin their numbers a little bit before we actually start uh letting hounds loose shoot oh well, okay uh go for it again nope all right wait for you whack him there goes his fingers now whack him okay Let's get them all tied up so they can't go anywhere. There goes his fingers. Was that his windpipe? Yeah, a crushed windpipe. 
Damn. Uh, as for you, go tie them up. And you can actually deploy your hound to help uh, help deal with uh, the two of them. Dead. Uh, running. I love the fear mechanic on him as well, because he can actually just potentially route uh, people that... Uh, you know, they haven't really had any issues. Uh, double kill. Get you in there with them. And start uh, stabbing. Uh, stabbing. That's his leg? No, pierced arm muscle. Yep, yeah, that's uh, on good melee defense right there. But this is why I want a sword, because, like, Warhammers can still do good damage on people, right? But it's not that good compared to an actual, like, blade. So if I can get a couple slaves with, um... You know, now that I think about it, maybe getting some slaves and doing, like, two-handed training wouldn't be bad. Uh, giving them, like, maybe some great swords or something. That could be pretty good. Because, I mean, honestly, I'm pretty damn effective as well. So... What I could do simply is uh, get some great sword wielders and put them on the flanks. Because I really don't need that much in the way of archery. Um, it's it's not super necessary. Like, I have one archer, and that's enough for me. Kill him. Damn. Okay, whack him and dog. Yeah, he's almost dead. Uh, he does not have a bleeding condition, though, so he's not just going to die. Come on, there we go. And can I go for a triple kill? Uh, just a double. Nope. Uh, dog. Get him, dog. Yep. Nope. Alright. Is only one kill. Uh, another dog. Another dead man. Oh, close. Finish him? Yep. You can just see the tide is turning. Horribly for them. Stun. Yeah, the drummers can't really do anything because they're dying too quickly for the whole routing process to really, you know, become a thing. I mean, they're trying, but... Miss, miss. Yep. I mean, even he... He actually had a fair chance. Dodge dog. Yes. Drummers are still going at it. But unfortunately for them, they're still getting slowly overwhelmed. <laughs> Good. Uh, is there anybody I can really shoot at? Can I shoot at them? No. We'll move up a couple squares and just Falcon, I guess. Stun. Start running over to the drummers. Because why not? Oh, I should have deployed Battle Brother. Oh well, he's dead. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's their whole front line gone. I mean, that's like just most of them dead. Yep. Oh, finish? Nope. Nope, it was not meant to be. Yeah, and that drummer's getting out of here. He's like, I'm not staying here for this. Yeah, he's got actual, like, armor, though. Um, I think he was, like, the, uh, the better-off drummer of the two. It's good, though. The dogs are, like, going for them. Nope. Uh, yeah, both of the drummers were actually fairly well-armored, all things considered. I'm not gonna risk shooting my own dudes for that. There you go. Nope. Okay, go up there and help. Uh, you can help with the, uh, this guy destroys armor. Get in melee with him. Okay. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to chase him down. K. 
Okay. Nope. Yeah, everybody's getting really tired. And stab. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah, he's he's gonna get out of here. The dogs aren't gonna be able to chase him. Yeah, he's still dying. Damn. They're really going for Fury. Oh, well, the dogs finally got him. Uh, whack him. Close. Can you finish him? Nope. Dead. Okay, okay, okay. Can you kill him? Cool. If they just ask me, yeah, just, uh, it's over. I'm not worried about chasing down that drummer. Uh, so loot. Uh, amber. And, uh, some decent money. I'm not, yeah. Bear head, or bear, uh, helmets. Yeah. Man, it'd be cool if, like, uh... Like common wildlife was uh was an it was an enemy type in this game like that'd be pretty neat like imagine you're going out right and uh, they're like yeah just some simple like wolves or something right or like uh, like a, a couple of bears like you could just have like single large bears or maybe you could have like f like family units like one bear and then like two smaller bears or something or just even like wolf packs like you know because there's goblins that ride wolves so what if you just ran into a pack of wolves. Um, it'd be something that you could deal with, like, earlier on. That's not gonna really give you equipment, but it's gonna give you, like, more beast trophies. And it's just, like, enemy variety, you know? But, like, later on, when you actually get, like, armor, the only thing that's really gonna be a threat to you are, like, the dire variants. Like, dire wolves or dire bears. Uh, let's sort. And start getting rid of everything. Because we don't need any of this. Uh... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Um, I've got a good number of stuff extra in my inventory now. What? What is it? The spears need to go. Uh, that helmet needs to go. Um... Serpent skin. If I'm going south again, I don't really need that. Well, let's sell this bad food and... Okay. What is this mission? What are you... What do you need to pay me? I need more. Alright. Let's do a... Uh... Let's do one last mission up top, and then we'll start making our way south. I just want some extra cash, honestly. And who knows? Maybe it'll be a good fight. <laughs> yeah. No, not worth really doing. Okay, who am I tracking? Are these, bar Are these like, band? Yeah, they're thieves. Okay. I'll fight some thieves. I'm confident, to say the least, in my ability to kill, like, basic raiders and stuff. It is funny, the, uh, the actual transition between, like, fighting raiders and fighting, uh, just normal, like, thugs, um, like, it is really big, because, like, you see an actual, like, quantitative change in equipment and gear, uh, from, uh, like, thugs to raiders, um, it's, like, it's whole new thing, and this is actually how you get a lot of your, like, medium-grade equipment early on, is through killing, like, bands of raiders, Okay, so I am going to have to go to them. Um, nice. Nice. Alright, everybody just start rushing forward. Caution to the wind. Uh, we match them in numbers, which means this is going to be a slaughter. Like, we need to actually start seeing... Um, like, lords, like, raider lords, uh, named characters and the like, before it's actually gonna start being, like, a huge threat to us. Okay. 
Okay. Hey, he's not looking too hot. Pierced chest and injured shoulder. Okay. Uh, now he's in cover, so let's uh, let's see what they're gonna do. Uh, they're either going for him or they're just hitting Wigmar by accident. Ooh. Okay. Uh, didn't really pull much. All right, and can you finish him? So many injuries. Nope. It's all right. Good. That's a an artery, so he's gonna be bleeding. Yeah, he's not looking too good. Uh, let the dog out. I'm actually pretty damn confident in letting the hounds out. Um, deal with him. His uh, shield's not up. Okay. As for you, stun and whack him. Yeah, their front line's not looking too good. They got several people who are going to go down soon. Uh, let out your dog as well. Oh, damn. Helmet hit. If he had actually gotten a body shot, then would have been fine. Um, yeah, we'll start moving you down, and we'll also let your hound out. Yeah, because it's going to run around the flanks. As for you, uh, can I get a stun? No. However, I can move you in, and you're going to absolutely wreck this man. Alright, yep, tie, uh... I like your odds. Yep, tie all of them down. His melee defense is really good, and while they are raiders, they're not the best. Yeah, I see, because they're going to start running, potentially. Good block. Good dodge. Yeah, see? I mean, he got close. Don't get me wrong. He got really damn close on that. He's running. Give him a cut artery. Yeah, unfortunately for these guys, there is just a very, very big skill difference here. Good shot. Miss. Nice. Double the... Ooh, he actually got pretty damn close. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was just a risk that I was taking. Slay him. Uh, you can fill in the gap. Damn. Okay. Uh, stun. Actually, I could just... Yeah, just kill him. And wail on this guy. Uh, yeah, just freaking tack and just try and beat him. Yeah, there he goes. Yep, there he goes. Love that fear mechanic, I swear. I don't think he- I don't even think Tick's resolve is that good. Um, but- Ooh, wow. But he's, uh, he's doing great. Damn. Did get him in the face. I was like, I was wondering how he dealt so much damage, but he just uh, got past his armor by biting him on the nose or something. Good stuff. Take another shot. Nice. Guy's having a bad day. It's like almost all of his armor is gone now. Cut him down. And let the dog out. Go battle, brother! It'd be interesting if dogs could get XP. That'd be funny. Like, dogs just... And they don't really, like... Not that much really changes. They just get slightly better. Like, very small increments. Uh, change... Uh, okay, that didn't really do anything for me. Oh, well. We've almost won this anyways. Alright, Battle Brothers is ripping into him. And stab and dead man. Okay. Yep, that archer's dead. Last man. 
Yeah, there we go. Uh, no level ups or anything. That's fine. Um, just some equipment to sell. Nothing really special. Cool. Let's go get our pay for this and sell this gear. And we'll have enough for, our, like, a couple days travel. So that'll be good. We'll have some, tr uh, like, our traveled expenses covered. And then we can head down south and hopefully get ourselves some new members. I Again, I'd like to get barbarians, but I we should probably just end up getting the slaves. All right. Down south we go. Uh, I don't I don't even know if I'm going to bother taking like any real contracts on the way down there. Like I might, but I think I'm just going to go for a straight shot down there. Like we can still look at everything that shows up. Uh, yeah, I don't need to stop for food or anything. We just go. There's a mercenary company. Uh, all right. First things first. Let's sell this gear. Get this out of my inventory. I'll keep some of these axes actually. Alright, just in case, honestly, having some hand axes would not be the worst idea, because if we do take uh, a tree cutter quest. Hello? Nah, I'm not gonna... Yeah, they want us to wipe a caravan out uh, and claim it was bandits, but I'm not really interested in that. Mostly because, I mean, it would be kind of cool to fight some humans, like professionals, like from a noble house... But, hmm. Undiscovered location. This this is my interest. Um, but, honestly, I'm not really interested in getting any, like, real negative relations with anybody. So, I think I'll just hold off on doing that. Uh, we're actually going to attack this, this uh, fortress, the Tilted Stones, because it's a random location, which means chance for cool stuff. Uh, I also want to check right now my retinue. Okay. Surgeon, the bounty hunter. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, that's the incentive for uh, killing champions. Minstrel, cartographer. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not interested in that guy. The scout. Then, oh, and the negotiator, not the necromancer. Um, the quartermaster, the trader, why can't I, oh right, these guys have like requirements, the brigand, what does he do? Oh, okay. So that's if you want to be, like, the villain. <laughs> Snake oil. I feel, I just feel bad if I did that. Um, I could buy a wagon for increased carry capacity, but I think I'll hold off on that. Because that's very expensive. Alright, uh, let's uh, hit the fortress. What do you got for us? We don't know. Alright, let's do it. What am I fighting? Oh, some... some raiders. Okay, I'm gonna pull back with Tick, because if they have archers on that hill... Yep, just like that. He would have put a bolt right into his chest. But that might be the only one they have, so... Let's start trading fire. No. Alright. Alright. Rush him on the flank. I'm just gonna run straight up the middle because I I have very little Ooh, there is the wolf with a great sword. We have a champion. Alright, that is good. That is money right there. Anywhere from 350 to 700 crowns. From that name and that equipment, that's scale armor right there. 
So I would honestly bet on him being on the higher price range. Man, I'd love to get that great sword though. That would definitely help with uh, kidding out one of my guys already. Uh, you can wait. <laughs> he rolled it on the dot. No, oh, he's going around the side. Block. Oof. Uh, but not really. <laughs> I'm just kind of soaking their uh, their ranged fire, which is kind of funny. Um, it's really not turning out to be that effective. Damn. Oh, well. Uh, hit him. Nope. Nope. Damn, I think they're going to stop me from seizing the high ground. Tis unfortunate, but I'll, uh, I'll survive. I, oh, nope. I managed to get up there. And, uh, I'm already going to town. Let's, uh, stop him from actually coming over here. Okay, uh, I can't get over there, but that's fine. Damn, okay. Let's get up behind them so that I've got cover. Damn! Uh, wait. Yeah, he's coming down here. Come on. Alright, the wolf is just hanging out over there. Man, they're doing real good with those ranged weapons. Not a lot of misses on them. Okay! Man, this is doing... He's doing very poorly. Okay, you can hold position there. Uh... Ooh, I can actually hit... Potentially hit you. Yep. Good hit. Switch and stun. Yep, there we go. Okay. Uh, cut artery and bleeding. Yeah, he's gonna die. I don't know if he'll die in one turn, but he's gonna he's gonna die. Um. Uh, you can start moving over here. So next turn you can sw swap with the uh, Abdari. As for you, yep. Yeah, uh, Tax already like exhausted. Um, stab. Up oh, here comes the wolf. Start flanking around. I can, uh, stab. Nice. Good block. Okay, good. I'm like, he's been. This guy was on a roll for a while there. The wolf. Good, good. I was. Oh my. Why would you do that? This is like a really bad situation for you. Let's hop back. See, he had the right idea. Uh, dog? Mm. No, shield wall. Let's just defend. Good shot. Nice. As for you, yeah, surround. Let's just batter away at your <laughs> batter away at your armor. Make things way easier for my boys. No stun. All right, can I just kill you like instantly? No, I hit your head. That was a body shot, and you have nine lives. So unfortunately, that didn't really work. Yep, he's routing good. Damn. <laughs> He's dead. Uh, Alright. You need to stab him. And yeah, everybody's running. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alright, do you have armor? Yeah, you got some? Oh, I was, I was thinking there was going to be a triple kill there for a second. <sighs> I will admit, they definitely put up a lot more of a fight than I was really... I mean... It was a combination of, like, mistakes on my end and some luck, but... Um... Yeah, I know, like, 
mixture of like just pelting me with range weapons like their range weapons did really good um even though they had a really hard time getting through my armor and then you top all that off with the fact that uh uh they uh my flank over here like i really got close to losing him uh and then tick like just one more hit could have really done a number on him um so i got really lucky that that didn't uh end up happening and then battle brother get him boy nope finally yeah that guy i thought he was gonna be one of the first to go but he lived for a while who all right tamim he leveled up yeah dari got freaking his teeth kicked in all right some salt some beer some coins uh i got i did get the great sword cool that is uh that is a great weapon i don't need to pay for so i'm very happy about that and again i got salt so i could potentially sell that somewhere um i don't know if the best place to sell it would be um in the south or not uh, we should do that level up actually tamim you just capped as well uh what am i gonna give you friend um hp uh fatigue and melee skill we'll give that to you uh but what do we want to give you for your last perk it's a really good question i already gave you mace specialization uh footwork no headhunter oh, i could do that what is this what does this do for me yeah no that's hitting the head isn't really necessary um Because I already gave you taunt and rotation. I could do relentless. That's not a bad idea. Because it means that I'm actually I can still actually go. Uh, like I'm not as slowed down by my fatigue. Or I could do indomitable, but I don't really use that skill that much. So, huh, maybe Relentless. Is there anything else here that I would like? Could do Steel Brow. No more critical hits on my head. Yeah, we'll do Steel Brow. If he's going to be tanky, then being able to, like, ignore critical hits is really good. <sighs> yeah, poor, poor Dari. Like, he really took a beating in that fight. Alright, on our way now. Let's, uh, let's head down to, uh, Lurchenfeist. If that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I'd like to say it's, like, a bastardized version of German, but I am not a linguist, so. I cannot say. All right, Lurchenfeist. Uh, there's a mission, but first things first, let's take care of getting all of our goods sorted. Um, I think I'm probably going to sell the salt, but I think I'll save the furs for, like, down south. Same with the amber. Uh, the rice has got to go, because that's going to spoil. Yeah, like, almost all my trade goods are going down south. I'll save this, though. This is a really good quality uh, helmet. Crossbow can go. Javelins. Yeah. I didn't spec out my guys with, like, the intention of, like, engaging with range weapons and then swapping out. So they're not really that good at it. Like, they don't have they don't have a skill that will allow them to... They don't have a... I think it's fast hands. So they can't, like, change out really quickly. It's a heavy crossbow. But I already have a gun. Uh, armor. Anything here for me? What is this? Oh, it's Noble Mail. Uh, but no. Nothing really interesting. Weaponsmith? Um, nope. There's a two-handed mace. A longsword. But nope. Nope. Nothing, uh, nothing of interest. What is this? What is this contract? Uh. Good signs. 
Uh, how much is this? I need to pay more for this. Ooh. Alright. What am I... Hunt for... Ooh, ooh. Um... Yeah, no. I, I refuse this contract. Um... That's the name Alps. Yeah, no. I can fight Unhold and every... Like, I can fight Unholds. I can fight Linworms. But I... I'm going to need to be very desperate to hunt Alps. I hate Alps. Because all they do is they run away. And they knock your dudes unconscious. And then they cause a, a massive quantity of damage directly to them. Straight through their armor, through nightmares. And they can do it to several dudes. So, like, three, two or three Alps can, like, knock out your entire party. And they'll just kill you. And they are not worth it at all. So, And plus, it's a search mission, so I'd have to go looking for them in areas. And that's not worth it. So, But anyways, guys, I think with that said, that's where we're going to call it for this episode. So, if you enjoyed the episode, you know, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. And, uh, yeah, until next time, have a good one.